Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are here with another Save My Campaign video. Now, this isn't necessarily as much a Save My Campaign as a Save My Battle. And we are defending over here at Masana, as you can see, in Sicily against the Syracusans. And this one has been sent in by Ragnar Lothbrok. Not the semi-mythological figure himself, although it might be. I don't actually know, but thank you to him for sending this in. If you want to send yours in down below, guys, you can either send them in my Discord or in the Campaign Advice channel in the RIS Discord, all linked down below below now we're playing on very hard very hard as i will just evidence to you right now so you can see very hard very hard and we are defending a siege so we do have that going for us but we are fighting the faction leader of syracuse with pretty nicely experienced syracuse and hoplites when we have some very damaged troops over here as well so it's gonna be a tough one a really tough one but we're gonna give it a go and see whether we can beat this battle. Let's have a go. This is a fine day to be a Roman going into Here we battle. are. Every day is a fine day for a battle when your heart is set on doing your duty. That army comprises a full quarter of our foes' warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women? Beardless youths and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today. You gotta love the Roman intros. They seem eager to die before our wall. Perhaps we should oblige the fools. There are a few more of them than there are of us. But so what? Our cavalry are brave and noble. But they cannot help us until we are within the walls. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Now, you know my reputation and skills, and I tell you, a wall has yet to be made that can keep my army out. Um, I mean, extremely epic intro until the end when we're defending the walls, bro. Don't you know that? We're defending them? <laughs> Nothing else. Um, we've got Syracuse and Hoplites over here manning all the ladders, which is a bit scary. And there, if we have a look at their stats, you can see our Hastati are not fantastic, and they are pretty damaged as well. 37 defense, 19 morale is fantastic. Um, Armor-piercing primary weapon, which I believe refers to the Peeler in this case. Um, so yeah, armor piercing with that. But the Syracuse and Hoplites, 44 defense, 17 melee attack, much more melee attack than us, although our Triarii are pretty darn good as well. We don't have a huge amount of them though, and we don't have a lot of cavalry either. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a struggle, I believe, fighting this battle. Um, now there's a few things that we can do to try and turn the odds in our favor. Of course, fighting on the walls is always a good idea. I don't believe these walls... Oh, these walls do actually have the uh, the burning oil which will fall down on the enemy. So we do want to keep a lot of the troops pinned in here as long as possible. So we can fire more burning oil down on them as much as possible. But I do think with that we will need a unit on the middle of the wall all the time. Someone tell me whether that's true or not. Or whether that just comes from Medieval 2. Maybe it comes from playing medieval 2 the other thing we could do is we could charge out with our least important general nias cornelius blasio and try and stop those ladders actually getting to the walls because i think one ladder might be enough but if we can funnel all these boys into the center here and really defend there i think that's going to be a lot better so what we're going to do we're going to go for the hail mary go straight for the ladders um, and that should stop them sort of taking those ladders up. They'll probably leave them, hopefully after the siege uh, the siege tower as well. Uh, and then they'll have one ladder and one ram. And th there's always a chance that that ram will be destroyed by the walls, of course, as well. So let's have a think about where we want to go. We probably want, actually, the Hastati and the Princapes 
up here fighting, but I'm actually going to go for the Lucanian infantry, which are pretty strong infantry. And we'll also go on this side, we'll go with a Triarii, a small unit of Triarii. That can be there to help out and also, you know, dump the boiling oil. These guys and these guys are going to be the main defenders of the gates because they are very strong and we want them to do as much damage as possible. I'm not too bothered about the rest of the campaign. We don't want to lose this battle to start with. So let's uh, try and win the battle before we worry too much about the rest of the campaign. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to have our cavalry stationed out over here, ready to charge out and charge the back of that clump if they do decide to come around. We're going to put these guys on guard mode as well. And then what we're going to do, uh, actually, no, you. If we get all these guys up here, that'd be great. We're going to have, so let's group them all together. Your group together. Same with the cavalry. You guys all group together as well. You're by yourself. Lucanian infantry. And then we're going to have a Hastati up here. And we're also going to have another one over here. Basically, just to fire into the enemy. These guys are all going to be on fire at will. So let's group up you guys uh and in fact one of you needs to be up over this way don't they so they can fire down onto the enemy as well and the rest of you boys are going to be nice in the back to fire your javis into the enemy when they come in the good old fashioned tactic i am slightly worried that they're a bit too close because if they have a cavalry charge they might just charge straight through uh but yeah i think that's going to be good so we are on very hard, of course, guys. And do remember, very hard gives the enemy plus five melee attack. So when we look at their Syracuse and Hoplites, that's not 17 melee attack. That's actually 22, which is obscenely good. So yeah, we want to be very wary of that. But first of all, let's get Big Nias out of here. And he's going to go straight for those ladders and the siege tower. I don't really care if he dies. It's a sacrifice worth taking right now so that they're funneled into one uh, ladder situation um, as well as any uh, you know and uh, into the gate mainly if we can actually destroy all of the uh, siege equipment i will do so but i'm kind of hoping more to just go for these ladders and the the siege uh, uh the siege tower so let's get off there now bit of a dirty tactic i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie but you got to do what you got to do, guys, haven't you? you got to do what you got to do. They will pick that back up. But I'm hoping it being over there. See, they're going to come and pick it back up now. Um, so they're a bit better than the Med 2, sort of, uh, the Med 2 guys. The, the Med 2 guys don't really, like, pick them back up. They just get a bit dumb and stop. So let's get them stopped again. And then we might even go for this one. Let's try and get through this gap here. Uh, and, you know, if we did that, we might actually stop the ram from getting on the walls. So let's just do that one little charge. That's actually killed quite a lot of men as well. Nice. And let's go. Our men are currently not tired. So they're going to be doing quite a good job. And let's run close to the walls to see whether we can bait them into getting fired at by both our towers and our men, which doesn't look like we can right now. You can see they've abandoned the siege tower already. I kind of want them to... The ram's still in good condition, so I don't know why they're abandoning that. But yeah, a bit of a dirty tactic, really exploiting the AI. But I thought it's worth showing you guys this tactic. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's a bit dirty, but here come the cavalry. So that's really going to be uh, a bit of a pain for us. If they want to chase us, that's fine. I'll, cha I'll uh, go around the map. I'm not going to use the exploit where you get the whole army to follow your cavalry around the map. That, of course, is very, very dirty. And we don't want to be that dirty today. You can see these Syracuse and Hoplites getting absolutely shredded. We're getting now shredded by something. And I'm assuming it's javelins from some of their men. Let's get out. Come on, guys. Get out. Now that this guy has uh, done the best that he, ha he can, let's get back. And it looks like they're only going for the ladders now, which is nice. They'll probably get these ladders back up. But it's a small unit of Syracuse and Hoplites. These guys are a bit tired uh, and we do have their bodyguards coming after us. We've got to be careful because, ah, it was the Prodromoi that's done so much damage. Um, because they have their, their faction leader, who has a really nice general's bodyguard, the Syracusan general's bodyguard. And look at these boys. Don't they look good? Don't they look good? 
Yeah, enemy ladders are now at the walls. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and get you through this way because it doesn't seem like they're going to take up the sword on this side. You're going to stay here for now. You are hiding. They can't actually see you. So anything that we want to do, we can kind of do to them. Syracuse and Hoplites are going to come up the ladders. They need to really take the ram for my plan to work. Because otherwise, my guys are just going to get kind of a bit destroyed by the Syracuse and Hoplites. Because they are very good. The Lucanian infantry are not going to be able to stand up to them with their 11 attack. 11 attack, just not quite good enough. They should hopefully get a few kills as they come up the ladders. But these guys are going to be strong enough to, you know, not die on the first hit with the 11 attack. So it's not going to be the most effective uh, killing fields that you're ever going to see. Uh, but hopefully we can get to the get uh, over here and start throwing some javelins down at them while they're waiting. So guys, come on. Hurry up. Please get through. Is that everyone? Halt now. So you should be able to fire. Fire. That's not. That's a charge, guys. That's a charge. So. Yep, there we are. That's good. That's better. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. So they're firing over this way, which is great because we want all those javies to be used up. How are they doing? You know, they're not really dying. They're a very, very strong unit. Honestly, as long as we can keep funneling them up here, that's good. Look at that dark band over there. There's a dark band around us. Mordor. We are in Mordor, my friends. Now you guys can get in to the fight. Yeah, the AI's kind of gone a bit crazy now. So they're probably just going to go for these ladders. And it is a quite a bit cheap doing this, but... You know, you got to do what you got to do. We don't... Oh, we do have a battle timer on here. See the Lucanian infantry getting shredded. Um, so, yeah, they are going to get into the city. They'll probably come down these ladders. And when they do, come down this, this wall. And when they do, we'll be ready for them. So I'm going to get these guys slightly back from there. Ready to receive them there. And we will let them because we want them to take the gates. We want them to take the gates so that they will come through the uh, the gates and we will destroy them. Um, but yeah, we'll speed it up for now. These guys are actually doing very well in this fight against a very much superior Syracuse and Hoplites. So pretty nice of them. Well done. And they'll probably stay here until they die, which is always great when you're fighting on walls. They generally like to stay until they die. Now our guys are actually firing their javies into the side of them, which is great as well. And you can see the bodies littered along the side. I'm just hoping their Theroporoi doesn't get the chance. They're going to try and come up with a lot of men up these ladders, which is never good, but it's never too bad either. Now, if I wanted to, I could try and go and flank around that way. But like I said, I want to bait them into coming into the gates. Um, so yeah, we want to bait them into coming through the gate and then we'll be good these guys have actually put up quite a bit of a fight and that is the the good thing with the romans they do manage to put up quite a lot of a fight most of the time which is really good uh, obviously these syracuse and hoplites are very very good ideally we don't want this gate to fall because when we're going to get start getting shot at then yeah yeah if the gate falls then our guys so let's get through. Our guys will not be firing from the tower, so there'll be no burning oil. So what I think we'll do is we'll try and squish them. So we'll get this Astarte up here if we can. No, no, come this way. Come this way. And we'll try and surround them. So they're just putting all their units up the towers, which is pretty crazy. Get there. Go, go, go. Go, guys. You're so slow. This is one thing I kind of wish about Rome, like, remastered. They'd made this a bit better. So that you could have more and more troops on there. You guys need to get in there and go join the fight. But look at this. It's a massive blob of troops. I'm thinking about getting you guys there to start firing at them. Same thing with you guys. And uh, let's see what, what happens. Uh, these guys are still holding strong for now. But yeah, I don't think we can beat them in an all-out uh, infantry fight. But it's nice to keep them pinned down there for a little while. It looks like they're going for everyone. A look at those throws. Those throws have been pretty good. So what I might consider doing now is pulling back potentially towards the town square. 
and getting in places where we can, you know, do a bit of a charge against the side of them if they do come. So let's have a think about this. We've got them kind of pinned up here, which is great. And these guys are going to put up quite a bit of a fight for a while. Um, and it might even run the timer out, honestly. What I'm considering doing now is getting these guys all the way back to there. And then getting these guys all the way back over here as well. Getting the cavalry into this little spot here. And basically when they charge over here, we can then charge them in the side. Which will be quite nice. And while we're doing that, do we want to do anything with Nias? I don't think it's worth it at this point. Uh, yeah, we're not going to beat the Prodromoy. So let's get him inside the city. Well, he can't. You know, ideally we want our towers to be firing for as long as possible, so... But it's going to take a while uh, to get munched through by these Syracuse and Hoplites. One of them's doing actually not great. 60, down to 66 now, the other 104. And these are the main issue. The Theropoi, we're not bothered about. That's why these this Astarte might be having a bit of a better time. They are fighting mainly the Hoplites, but when they get through a few of them, they'll start fighting Theropoi and chewing through the Theropoi because we should be better than the Theropoi in general. So, let's get our Triarii ready and waiting. You guys can go there. In fact, we might even go further back. And then we'll get you guys. We do have to spread out quite a bit for the, to make this work. But that's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, and then we've got you two. And we'll get you behind this Triarii. You don't have jabbies to throw anymore. And you guys can just be in reserve. And then when they come and charge, we will be ready to fight them. We've got Nias in here now as well, so you can actually join that group. And uh, once they're in there, bang, straight in the side of them. And hopefully we can get some sort of mass route. Their general is very good, though. Remember that. Their general is a fantastic, fantastic general. Really good. Uh, I believe he had about six or seven command. So, yeah. And he's the faction leader. He's got a lot of influence. So ideally, killing him will be our sort of main aim in the battle. Because once that's done, we should be able to mass route a lot of these boys. How much have we killed versus the enemy? We've lost more than them, which is never great, especially when they're... But then again, they've lost more in general. We've... Well, it's about equal, actually. We've lost 150. They've lost about 180, which isn't the greatest of ratios. But while we're here, a lot of these troops are going to get in, be getting shot at by the towers. And we're just holding them down for a long time. I mean, we might even run out of the timer right now <laughs> with our cheap tactics. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll be able to smash them when they get back. But we'll just watch this for now. I'll join you when this battle kind of calms down and they've beaten our troops back. So here we are. They have taken the walls now. They've only got nine minutes left to complete this battle. I doubt they'll do it. But if we do run the timer out, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to play the battle again, and I'm not going to use the cheap tactics of destroying their their ram. What I'll do is I will do, uh, stop the ladders coming, but I'll let the ram come. That's going to be the main thing to stop it being a, a cheap victory. Because, yeah, I want to show you how you can win this battle without cheap tactics as well. Um... I was genuinely expecting them to pick up the ram again. Uh, but no, they didn't want to do that. And unfortunately, our Hastati are all up here fighting to the death now. Uh, but you can see we've killed quite a few of them. We're down to about half. They're down 40%, uh, which is pretty nice. But once these Prodromoi have gone, they're going to be a bit shredded, I'm going to say. But we have his general on the way. So that's going to be quite a main thing. We're going to have to just take a few of the shots from the cavalry to start with. But they've only got seven minutes, so time is on our side. And remember, guys, your guys aren't going to rout when they're in the town square. And these guys, if you've noticed how I've set them up, they're all actually touching the town square. So they won't rout, even though they stand here as well. This Triarii is taking a bit of a battering. Uh, but I think we can probably rout this Prodromoi pretty quickly. I'm just waiting for Hero to come in, and then we will kill him as well. That's going to be really important to get him killed. Uh, both the general's bodyguards are coming in now, so I'm hoping we can charge them in the back, and that'll really help out. 
They're still up on the walls, but they've come down now a little bit uh, with the infantry. So that Triarii was getting a bit shredded, but not so much anymore. So now the general comes, and we are going to spring our trap and charge them right in the back. Now, this charge isn't going to be great because they're going round a corner, guys. So do remember that. When you're charging round a corner, it's never fantastic. But we're going to surround them. And then we're going to go back down the road. And uh, we'll actually get a better charge off if we get down the road. So let's go this way. And then let's go straight into the uh, the hero over here. We're going to get broken up by a Prodromoy charge a little bit. Which is never great. Uh, but yeah, straight in with that charge. And we don't actually have the, uh, the forces to beat this guy one-on-one -on -one in melee. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. Kill that Prodromoy. Come out. I know we're going to get sandwiched if we don't uh, sort it out too quickly. So try and get that uh, bodyguard uh, sort of uh, into the fight again. And then let's go for the charge. And then we're going to try and surround him once again. That Prodromoy is broken. If we can get our Triarii around this guy and kill him, that would be fantastic. And then we basically have won the battle without cheesing the game too much. So, yeah, straight in the charge there. Bang. Straight in the back of them. And that has really damaged them this time. Let's rally the boys as well. Keep them happy. And these guys are already wavering. And, uh, yeah, you can see three minutes to go on the battle. And they're not even running. The enemy king is routed. So we have routed him. I would like to have him die. But go. Go, guys. I don't know what you're doing. Kill him. Where is he? There he is. There he is. But I wonder whether we could actually route these guys now. I'm going to be a bit silly. We've only got two minutes left. And like I say, if this is a bit silly... You've seen your general routing. You should be unhappy. All right, let's get back out. Let's get the cavalry over here this time. So let's get over there. And all the infantry. Let's get you there. Uh, not including you guys, of course. Nice. There you are, boys. And cavalry-wise, if we can just slowly get around there to start with, that'd be great. That'd be great. So, over there. And then they've still only got one minute left, so I don't know what they're going to do. But whatever they're going to do is not going to be enough to beat us in this amount of time so here they come let's go straight for the charge who are you by the way you some acontisti that's stupid kill the acontisti now charge the syracuse and hoplites go on boys this has to be a good charge are they they turned around god damn one of our generals has died in that charge of course but let's go get back out we are on very hard as you know so uh very unlikely we're gonna survive but yeah i mean we killed a lot more than them um so yeah pretty brutal battle but it was of course a victory mainly because we cheesed the ai and the game so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna load back out and come back in and we're gonna do the battle again guys and i'm gonna show you a different way in which you can beat the battle. So let's try that. Here we are, guys. Deja vu, isn't it? Deja vu. I wonder how we got back here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are back and we're going to do something slightly different, of course. Group all the generals together. We're going to group you guys together as well. You're going to go there. We're going to stay the same with the Lucanians up here. The Triarii can all be grouped together. I'm going to have you guys on top. Of course, all of you guys should be on fire at will. We're going to have a smaller unit over here as well. We're going to get you behind. We're going to get the Triarii in here. And we're just going to see what happens. This time, I want the ram to exist. So what I'm going to do is send those three there. I'm going to send those uh, 15 over there. They're probably going to die very quickly. But what I ideally want to not happen is the ram get disrupted by this. So we've got the siege tower now. So let's get out. What we're also going to do, we're also going to come out and try and bait their general and kill their general. That has made our guys run away. Of course, the ram is still going. It looks like the siege tower might get back up and running. 
which is quite good for us. It's a Syracuse and Hoplites on the siege tower as well. But that's fine. I'd rather that than the ladders. Because it might get destroyed. The same thing with the ram, actually. So let's speed it up. I want the ram to get to the gates this time. So let's get our guys set up properly in here. So you guys get there. You guys get there. You guys get there. And we're going to actually try and fight them one-on-one -on -one and see whether we can win this time. I mean, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. You guys get there. But there is a chance that we can do it. I don't have my firing arcs on, do I? Get that on. There we are. And unit banners as well. There we are. That's better. Let's lock unit banners. There we are. That's better. Uh, that was all from, uh, you know, making... Oh, they're firing that way. I'd prefer you to fire at that. But it would be good if the siege tower did set on fire as well. Um, so no ladders coming up this time. And we're going to get the Lucanian infantry in here ready to fight them as well. Now we've got you guys over here. Once they start getting through the gate, that's when we can come around and try and bait that general. So let's come all the way forward and see whether we can bait the Prodromoy or something like that. Uh, siege towers are obviously quite a good, uh, a good unit, but the gates being open, what that's going to do is force all these infantry and units straight through the gate, and hopefully we can burn a load of them alive. That would be fantastic. I mean, it sounds horrible, but fantastic for us, let's say. Not for them. Not for them. Lucanian infantry are on the way. Ideally, like we said, we don't really want the... Uh, uh, them to take the gates for quite some time because of our fantastic um, Bernie Bernie situation that we want. So there we are. The gate is now open. That should force a load of them into the city. Here come the Prodromoy. That's a very easy unit to get disposed of very quickly. So here come the Lucanians. You guys have fired all your ammo, but I'm wondering, do, will this work? Will they start getting burnt or not? Actually, don't know. It's not like that's doing much damage. Here they come. Are they going to get burnt or not? I thought this was... This represented the Bernie Bernies. But I guess not. Maybe not. But that's fine. If they don't want to get burnt, that's fine. They're going to get killed by the Triarii nonetheless. So I don't think we should worry about it too much. You guys, we're going to turn you off fire at will because I don't want you firing into Prodromoy. I'd prefer you to fire into a proper unit. Like the Syracusan Hoplites. Uh, where is my generals? Over here. That's a general there. That's their other general. And he's only protected by, like, Greek archers. So I'm wondering if we can bait him by coming all the way over here. He's not protected by much infantry. We've got the Syracusan Hoplites over there. So let's go and try and take him out. This is great, though. This is a great situation for us. The Prodromoi should get shredded by the, uh, the Triarii. I mean, that is the ideal situation anyway. So, how are we looking? Let's come all the way around. We do want to hit the Syracusan guys on the left flank because that's generally where the general is and he's actually on the front on the left. That's why, if, you, uh, if you're wondering, guys, why I don't ever put my generals in wedge formation. <laughs> because general being in wedge formation equals him being on the front and left-hand side of the attack. So he's going to get all the brunt of the damage uh, when it gets when it comes down to it. So these guys are going to get a little bit tired, of course, but that's fine. So when we're far enough away from the archers, nope, let's go. If he's going to if he's going to come and fight us, we're going to fight him. So let's get round. Let's get you, uh, not you. Who's rallying? You're the one who can rally. So we should destroy this general pretty quickly. There go the Prodromoi. And now let's get him in the back. There we are. That should be one general down. We will have lost a few of our men to that. He's routing, which is never great. But that's fine. Now let's go straight into these boys. Straight through him, hopefully. I know we're on very hard, but we should be able to beat some goddamn Greek archers. Yep. I mean, it's not the greatest of charges ever. But we really do need them to route right now. So, yeah, it's because of the general that they're not routing properly. 
So let's get away. Let's get away. If we can bait that general into following us, that'd be great. Um, my guys are a little bit tired now, though, of course, which is never fantastic when you are going to be fighting a fresh general. So let's keep going. I want to get away from his support as much as possible. Um, so here we go. I, I wonder, honestly, if this battle would be easier on a battle map. Like, it seems like it's going to be... It'll be quite difficult on a siege map. I don't know why. You rally. Rally the men. And then we're going to try and surround this guy completely. I know we've got Prodromoy coming up. But honestly, don't think that's going to make a difference. Let's smash into there. That should really help. Fully surrounding this boy. I know our generals have taken a bit of damage. Oh, especially then. Took a big bit of damage. I wonder whether that is the archers. Are they actually firing? No. But once this general's gone, the morale of the enemy should be fully withered and destroyed. So, And we're still getting our towers firing upon the men down here. They've sent the Yuzonoi in to fight my Triarii. <laughs> the Triarii are just... There we go. And that's their king. Fully dead. That should make everyone not want to keep on fighting in this situation. So let's get that Prodromoy if we can. Yep, yeah, they've stopped. We should get them. Come on, guys. Touch them. Should be enough to make them run away. Yep. God damn. As if we couldn't get them then. But anyway, we'll kill the rest of his archers and all that sort of thing. And I think we're, you know, we're pretty good. We're pretty decent. You go fight them. Get rid of them. Oh, there go those boys. So let's get the next Greek Slinger. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have to try and relax and, uh, you know, get our guys... Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what you want to do, boys. 100%. Not what you want to do. Uh, so let's go through them. And let's go through the Greek Slingers as well. So, you know, ideally we should be killing more of these. But... Uh, I'm happy to just rout them and get them off the battlefield, honestly. These guys are feeling secure on a hill. I'm not going to go and... F Ooh, I might actually go for the charge. No, 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 I honestly hate Missile Cav so much. Well, let's get these Slingers. I don't know why they've come back from routing. That's dumb of them. These guys surely have no... How do they have ammo left? This project... I still got two, two uh, things to throw. Now, now we're tired. We can hardly even keep up with the Greek Slingers. So what we're going to do, we're going to go rest in the trees. And hopefully get our guys rested. And hopefully they don't follow us this time. Um, and we're just going to see what happens. I mean, we might have uh, sorted the battle out again. So, are you guys not... Yeah, they are. They're hiding now, which is good. They're going to probably send in the men piecemeal. I don't know why they're keeping their Syracuse and Hoplites outside. But, you know, if it gets to 10 minutes and they still have the Syracuse and Hoplites outside, we will send our army outside to go and deal with them because I believe we can win uh, that battle. Uh, so we've got Syracuse and Hoplite. Now we've got the Theroporoi up there as well. So I'm wondering if we get you there, you should be able to actually fire into them. Um, and I kind of want these guys to fire into them rather than anyone else. We're currently holding our own. And now the guys have got a bit more uh, healthy. So what I'll probably do, guys, I'll probably edit it from here. Because until something happens, you know, you're pretty much just watching a grind fest again. So I will edit it from here. I'll see you in a little bit. So they've actually decided to, to commit everything into this tower, which is so weird. I don't know why they didn't go through the gate, but AI is going to AI, isn't it? So what we're going to do, we are going to pull back once again. I do kind of want this guy to come up, but you know, I kind of want to win this more fairly than we did last time anyway. Um, and what we'll do when we're ready to go... We'll uh, get our men. We're going to go deal with those Syracuse and Hoplites to start with. 
But we'll walk there. We don't want to make our guys tired. Um, so, yeah. We're going to leave these guys to fight it out for the gate and all that sort of thing. Uh, and then we'll do what we did last time. We'll just charge them in the back. And I believe without their general, they should be a lot easier to break this time. It just depends how quick they want to do this fight, of course. Because we remember what happened last time. They love scrapping on the gate. And it doesn't really do anything for them. So I don't know why they want to do that. Uh, but that's fine. So you guys are the guys that are still okay. We'll get you here ready to fire at them. Uh, actually, no. We'll get you there to fire at them. Because you can fire in the side. It'll be more damage. And we'll get you guys like in here. Because this is where they're going to go mainly for the charge. So, yeah. That'll be good. Get you guys. I'm kind of wondering if you guys just go for this charge on the Syracuse and Hoplites just to test how their morale will be when we charge them. Uh, and let's speed it up again. Bang. Into the back of them. Unhappy over taking casualties, but they actually didn't really take casualties, did they? These guys are still walking along. Still slugging along on their merry way. Uh, I mean, this this unit could be the... Uh, imagine, if we go attack that Syracuse and Hoplite, what's going to happen? Attack the uh, Siege Tower. Attack the Siege Tower, man! Attack it! I was just wondering, like, how many hits does it take to destroy the Siege Tower? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's managed to bring these guys here. So let's go kill them. This charge now should be enough to destroy them. We'll rally our general so that he doesn't get killed on the charge. And, oh, we've gone through him that time. That's good. That's really good from us. Now, I'm wondering, like, there's no one to stop us now. So what, what happens if we go and try and destroy the siege tower? Like, how long does it take to destroy it? Like, we can't destroy it, basically. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring our general around here. And they will be ready to charge because they're going to go down the main main straight, hopefully, going for the town square. But it looks like we might run out of time again. So I don't know why they're being so dumb. But yeah, they love getting locked on the walls. So I'm not going to do this battle again, guys. I've already done it twice at this point. But I'll see you in a little bit when they decide to walk down through the, uh, the streets. So guys, the AI has decided to be dumb again. And I feel kind of bad because I wanted to show you guys, you know practically how to beat it without scumming it this time we definitely didn't scum it we let them open the gate and we used our cavalry to really good effect so i am happy with this victory i don't feel so dirty as i did after last time but um what i will say is i'm going to explain to you now what what you would do if if the time wasn't going to run out if there's 15 minutes to go of this battle what you'd do is you'd wait for them to come and attack you'd follow up with your cavalry You'd surround them here and just mass charge, constant hammer and anvil into the back of them until you've routed with one unit. And then hopefully, because the general has died, there would be a mass rout. But at this point, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> they have decided to take away our glorious mass rout that we were going to go for. If I charged in there now, we're going to die. I, I, like, there's no point doing it now. We've only got 20 seconds left anyway. But another victory anyway. Deja vu fantastic and like i say this time was definitely nowhere near as scummy as we did last time we baited the general killed the general and we have won the victory but as we saw last time when we got to the campaign map it uh unless i edited that bit out it doesn't look like <laughs> this is going to be the end of it guys so we will see you back there guys and we will see what we can do with the rest of this save here we are there was a victory and they have come back to siege us down again. Very nice. Um, that one looks unwinnable, honestly. Um, yeah, without really scumming it. For all you guys that will be complaining that it's not a, you know, a timed out victory. It's a timeout victory. I tend to play on all my games with the timer on. Um, but obviously that's completely up to you guys whether you want to do that or not like i said i explained how you would win that battle from where we were at the end of that battle anyway so i don't feel like it was just a time timer victory 
uh, like I've said before. Um, I think, you know, um, I play with the timer on just in case the AI does anything like crazily stupid, which tends to happen. This honestly might be beatable again, but we, we will see. We will see. Uh, but we are on the campaign map for this campaign for the first time, guys. So, um, in fact, I have had a, had a look around this campaign map before. And honestly, I think Ragnar has done a decent job. A really decent job of min-maxing the economy. As you can see, the, the tax rates are different everywhere. So he has gone around and adjusted them all. So I don't need to do that. Uh, but what I am going to do... Uh, one thing that I am going to do is I am going to move some units around because there are a few units we can actually be using to our advantage in some of these situations. So I'm going to send you down to there. That is going to make Tarentum a bit unhappy, but just about happy enough. We're also going to send you with them as well. So we'll all send you all, all the ones in the south to Regium. Uh, and that's happy still. So let's get it on just high. Uh, and then down here, yeah, we're good. So we'll have a look around and we'll see whether we can find any of these decent Lucanian infantry to bolster our armies. Here's one, for example. Let's get him out of Neapolis. And if we go down to low, yeah, still happy. Obviously, there's no threat over here, guys, from get, uh, of getting attacked by anyone. So quite good uh, to get our units out. And sort of use them in the field. That's definitely something uh, that's a little bit more effective than having these good units stuck in here. Even if it means reducing our tax rate in the short term down to 70. That's fine. So we'll get up here. We can see that rebel uh, settlement there that we haven't yet taken. Uh, that one can go up to the high. Uh, very high over here already. Where have we missed anywhere? You're very high. You can also, you go join them, and you go join up here. How does that look now? Yeah, not too happy. 70%. There is a chance, remember guys, of them rebelling on 70%. But it's a very, very low chance. So, honestly, it's fine. Um, and if they do rebel, just put the tax rate back down. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, high. 65, though, that's a bit too far to go, because they will rebel on that one. So let's bring you guys up this way. Uh, we've got you as well that we can use. So we can actually bolster this army to be quite a big army now. Uh, yeah, you can go on to very high. You definitely can go on to very high. So we're instantly making about 500 more a turn or so. Did we check that one? Yes, we did. So that's quite good from just adjusting our tax rates. We'll also bolster up these armies as well and now one thing i want to want to say guys we are on turn 12 and it does look like we have um only taken regium and is it potentially a turnum i can't quite remember one of the are oh, this no this is a rebel settlement and comp uh, and yeah it has damage and maybe this settlement down here as well that has the damage so we've taken probably four settlements in 12 turns. So I would suggest if you are playing Rome, um, just try be a, a little bit more aggressive than that. If you can take the settlements rather than sieging them down. See, we are fully sieging them down here. And holy, holy general stack. Wow. That is a general stack and a half. Um... <laughs> So when you start with this army as Rome, guys, you do actually start with a pretty decent army. And if you take all these uh, Lucanian infantry out, then you will start with a really nice army. You don't need to general stack so much. So what I would say is that, um, yeah, use your generals to govern the cities that are making you most money. Places like Volsinii, Falerii, around Rome, really. Of course, Rome needs a, someone to govern it or at all times and some of these ones with ports as well like capua is definitely a good option same thing goes for tarentum always seems to make a bit of money once you've got a, a couple of upgrades in there one of these out down here seems to be quite rich yeah guru mentum always a good one to have someone governing in uh, a turnum as well so yeah maybe use those generals to govern 
a little bit more. I'm not going to take them out now because there's no point because we're going to fight a battle there at the end of this turn. And I would say, just as a tip, go more aggressive. Don't wait to siege down these settlements. Uh, you can beat that in a siege battle, definitely with your starting armies. So don't worry too much. I know we are on very hard, very hard, but I would say go more aggressive. Try and push yourself to take more cities early game so that you start making more money because we're only making 4,000 a turn. You know, it only takes a couple of settlements for you to become, uh, become uh, sust to sustain your income. So yeah, go more aggressive and you'll make more money uh, in the short term and the long term as well. So yeah, I'd say go more aggressive early on is a very good thing to do. So with the rest of our money, what we're going to do... Um, so Ragnar has built a lot of these elite tax buildings. Uh, where is it? Not one in Rome. Wait, I thought there was one in, in Rome. Am I being dumb here? Uh, yeah, no, no, not one in Rome, but he's built them in a couple of places. So here it is. And it does give you 500 gold. So there's a few of them dotted around. So that 4,400 is actually a little bit more money than that, which is good. Um, so if you want to build the elite, the elite tax buildings, guys, of course you can. That is, that is absolutely fine. That is your prerogative. Uh, I can't even speak. Uh, but yeah, that is completely up to you. I personally don't because I like the challenge of the campaign management. But if you want to build them, they are the most effective way of making money. They only cost 3,000 and give you 500 extra gold. Instead of that, though, what I'm going to do is focus on building roads and building farms early on. So if we build the road, it says only 52 but look at that farm. Jesus Christ. 500. Wow. Falerii is really a really good settlement. Let's have a look at uh, Voltaire Rai over here. So again, the road's not too much. But again, 100 for the farms, which is really nice. It does look like Ragnar has built some farms as well. So that is good. Farms do make a decent amount of cash early game. And as you can see, it looks like we do have sort of first level farms in a lot of places. Maleventum, you can see first level, it costs 600 and it's going to pay itself back in less than six turns. That is better per uh, the amount of cash as the elite tax building in terms of paying itself back. So although it's not the same bulk amount of income, over time, that's going to be better for you. So that's why I would build it. And then the roads as well, because in case you don't know, guys, trade ticks up over time with the more population you have, uh, that sort of thing. So getting that uh, land trade early on with the uh, roads will help you over time build up more income as well. And also allow you to move troops a lot freer through these regions. So I think we're good. We're not going to assault that now when we've only got one turn left for it to do. This one, we are going to probably lose still if we fight that. But we're going to play, you know, a couple a couple of turns anyway into this campaign. Just to get it stable. And then we'll be in a good place to keep going. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this little Save My Campaign videos. I really have. They have been quite fun. Um, so yeah, do, sub do uh, submit them down below if you, uh, if you do enjoy them and you have... A campaign they have a problem with it doesn't necessarily need to be ris guys so just try uh yeah see see what you want to do uh so we have some samnite hoplites lucanian infantry we've got Aulus as a general and companion cavalry we could beat all of this with four generals we don't need them all but we're gonna use them we might as well and try not to lose as much infantry uh, as it seems we have been doing previously so, I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Very quick battle, probably. Here we are. And, of course, remember that these battles start straight away. And it's only wooden walls. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They are going to be utterly, utterly destroyed uh, in this battle. <laughs> the amount of cavalry we've got is just obscene. We are going to absolutely ruin these boys. I feel almost bad for them. What is this to start with? Lucanian infantry. Well, we need to sort of engage 
the infantry. What we'll do with the cavalry to start with, group you up. Get there. You guys can group up as well. And we'll get slightly behind so they will come and attack us. I don't know what they're doing. Like, why are they going that way? That's so dumb. Stop. You guys get forward. Try and engage them because they're going to go... They're going for the flank, which is a bit stupid of them. Uh, but they're going for the cavalry. The, the AI ob obsesses about cavalry, guys. Like, obsesses about them. So do remember that. Um, and then we'll come round. Don't want to fight that Lucanian infantry to start with. We'll get group one. And we'll uh, shred them in the back. They also like to send their cavalry around the side, as you can see. So, yeah. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to avoid that bit of infantry there. We're going to go straight into the back of the Lucanian infantry. And we're just going to hammer and anvil them until they die. Which, uh, of course, should hopefully be quite quickly. Yeah, broken them straight away. Nice. That's what we like to see, boys. Uh, you guys round. Should hopefully try and kill all of these guys if we can. Uh, and then what do we have here? That is companion cavalry. So let's companion cavalry, should I say. So let's go. Let's get group one and two. And let's just go after them. Just go after them. Like, we should beat them. You know, they're a good cavalry unit. But they're going to be fully surrounded by generals and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't see anything else happening other than us winning this. Even if they do turn around with their Samnite Hoplites, not going to be enough. Like, our generals, like, this this tactic, guys, is just so OP. So if you want a general stack, you can do. It is a bit gamey. And, yeah, I don't want to just, you know, do these things, um, you know, gaming the system. I want to, you know, win these battles legitimately. But, oh, hello. Hello, general. Nice to see you. Welcome to the party, my friend. What are these? See, they, the AI is genuinely obsessed obsessed with cavalry. Look at them chasing the cavalry when they're already fighting an infantry unit. So, yeah, do remember that. The AI will just be stupid and do something like this. It's just more annoying than anything, honestly. <laughs> well, let's kill the general, and then they'll basically just all rout. Um, like, how many have we lost? 12%. I mean, he should. Like, we should kill him. I, I guess, it, I'm guessing, yeah, there we are. He's got a lot of... Uh, there we are. Let's get these guys now. If we go for a little charge. Like, mass mass cavalry charges in this game. So OP, guys. So OP. So, if you want to use them, you can do. They're very OP. Um, but there we are. And then, is there anyone who escaped to the town square? There is a Lucanian infantry. Good. So, hopefully we can kill... Like, if we kill all of them, let's speed it up. They don't like chasing down units. You guys chase them that are inside, uh, that are going inside the city. But let's just keep on chasing them. There we are. Great victory. Let's end the battle. We lost 89 men, which is actually surprising. But a lot of those men were generals, which, you know, they're going to replenish automatically. Uh, so, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And, of course, we're going to enslave. Remember, guys... Don't exterminate. You're just destroying population that can give you tax. So enslave instead. That population will be distributed around your cities. And it will keep them, in most cases, um, with a good public order. We actually got another general up here. Wow, 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 we. That's a lot of generals. <laughs> that is a lot, a lot of generals. Too many generals. And you can see we're making... With the elite tax buildings, we're making about 8,000 a turn. Every single settlement you take, of course, you make more and more a turn. So what we're going to do um, is actually, probably at this point, send these boys back for retraining. We're going to send them back with Gaius Fabius Picta. Uh, no, actually, we want a better general than that. Probably Augustus Cassius over here. Let's have a look at his traits. Uh, superior commander, good attacker, social drinker, bureaucrat. Any morale traits that we've got? Um, no. Hasty. He does have pessimist, which is minus morale. Uh, but I think we can get him some good morale traits anyway. Well, probably what we're going to do is have two generals. 
And we'll have two generals. We're going to send them back to Rome. They're going to lead the rest of the army. All of these Lucanian infantry can go up into Sarsina, ready to go. And they're obviously going to be uh, part of our army. The rest of these generals, they're all going to go and govern cities and make us some extra cash because we need extra cash right now. If you want to keep on general stacking, like I say, guys, that's up to you. It, it's fine. You can do that. I just don't like to do it too much. I mean, I did do it in my Seleucid campaign, as many of you will know. Uh, once uh, a pretty big general stack to beat off the Ptolemies. Uh, but yeah, it's completely up to you. We'll probably also get a few of these generals into some of these towns that don't have any governors or any units in them as well, just to keep them happy. There we are. And that should hopefully help with the income in these places as well. Over time, these guys will get better and better and better. Ah, that wasn't great going past there. But that's fine. And then you, let's send you to somewhere that doesn't have anyone in. That is Neapolis. And Neapolis making a bit of cash as well. So not too bad a situation there. Let's get it on very high tax rate. Uh, bump that economy up. And I think once we've got this Lucanian infantry in here and the general retrains all of these men, that'll be a pretty nice army ready to go and probably fight. We can go and fight the Boyai if we wanted. Um, or we can go for this rebel settlement up here. The Boyai are pretty good because they're Celtic. So do remember that, guys. Celtic nations are generally very strong. So uh, you want to have a decent-sized army ready to fight them. So in, with that in mind, what we will do, we will actually recruit some more Hastati. They're very expensive. Um, but yeah, we'll recruit one in there each turn. And we're not going to spam them in because then we have no money to build things to make us money, guys. So of course, we're not going to spam them in. So the rest of our men, if we can get them, keep them moving down here. We've got a lot of these Lucanian infantry, so we can really bolster up our armies down here and in the north with these boys. Oh, there's actually one there as well. Didn't actually see you. So you can now go low tax rate. That's great. And in terms of prioritizing buildings at this point, what I would do is I would prioritize buildings based on upset places. So Corfinium here. And we would, what, all we're going to do is just get the Shrine to Saturn in there. And that's going to give 10% more income. and it, uh, Sorry, 10% more order. And it only costs 500, guys. And that means that you can potentially build up, um, put the tax rate on higher as well. So don't worry about it too much. Smash that up uh, and get the public order really, really happy. Then what we're going to do, we are going to prioritize based on sort of income level. And Rome, of course, is always going to be a very, very rich settlement. And you can see... That's 1,200, and it's making about 1,005, uh, sorry, 150-ish a turn. So, yeah, going to pay for itself in less than 10 turns, which is fantastic. Let's have a look at Capua. What could we build? We could build the elite tax, but remember, these buildings are even better because they're cheaper. And although it's not the same lump sum, the ratio is better in terms of paying itself back. And over time, that income is just going to get better and better and better. Let's have a look here. Will the port do much? Only about 100, whereas we can spend a lot less money and make the communal farming there as well. Tarentum, let's get that in there. And that is us. So guys, what I think I'll do is I'll edit this down slightly. I'll do a few more buildings. I'll see you in a couple of turns when this army is ready to go. And we'll talk about whether we are stable at this point. Like I said, building-wise, find those buildings that have the best uh, ratio, uh, to, sorry, best income to cost ratio. Build those and build public order buildings in some of your upset places so you can bump up the uh, tax rate as well. Um, and then we might have this battle to do at some point too, but we shall see. It might be this turn. Just a quick note, guys, when you are governing your cities, do make sure to stick up your tax rate if you need it to. Obviously, eventually, when we get to a very stable situation, maybe 10, 20 turns from now, um, we're going to put these all down to low so we get population growth over time. But for now, while we're struggling for cash, trying to build our economy early game, let's make sure that when you put someone in, 
bump it up to the highest it can go without them rebelling again, which is really, really good. Getting us some extra, extra cash. Very nice indeed. So over here at Meloventum, guys, I've been exploring with the buildings and don't always just take it for rote that it's always farming or always a trade building, something like that. Do have a bit of an explore because if we see the vineyard, not too much money. But then we look at the communal farming. Oh, that's great. I'll just build that. But no, if we actually explore with the trader, look at that. The amount of cash we can get, that's going to pay for itself in less than five turns. So that's even better than the elite tax, like we've been saying, guys. So a really nice amount of cash. So do explore your options. Don't just always go with the same exact thing in every city. Because for every city, it's going to be different. Here we are, guys. Syracuse has attacked us at Masana again, uh, which is fantastic. Nice to see. This time, they do only have two Syracuse and Hoplites, though. Some Sissel Peltoforoi, Mercenary Sissels, and a leader who isn't backed up by any other cavalry. So this should be actually quite a nice little battle for us. I'll probably edit it down, but you'll get to see a little bit of it. So I will see you there. So we're going to use the same tactic as we did last time. We're going to disrupt a couple of their ladders because I want all these ladders getting to the walls. We're also going to try and snipe the general once again. And this time he's not protected by any cavalry. So that should be quite easy. And there's very few missile troops to really do much against us here. So it should be quite a nice little battle for us. That siege tower is going a long way. So I'm hoping it'll get destroyed. Um, these guys obviously are going to die. Like that's the whole point of them. <laughs> coming out. You know, they are on a suicide mission, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to disrupt the ram, like I said before. Um, so let's ignore the ram uh, and hope that it gets to the gate, because we want all these guys to come through the gate once again. Here comes the bodyguard, but I don't know what he's going to do. Probably just going to get... There he is. He's come and he's getting shot. Well done. Very clever. Clever general. Clever general. Well done. You did well, sir. Uh, right, let's get our men around this way. And let's see whether we can go and snipe that gen. Here we come again. And remember, we're going to try and charge them in the left-hand side. Uh, because remember, the general is always stood pretty much on the left-hand side, depending on how they're formed up. We've got the Sisel Peltafori here. So we're going to take a bit of damage. But it's worth it for sniping the old general. They'll probably do a bit of friendly fire as well. So again... Not a huge problem. And once that general's dead, which is going to be very soon. Oh, uh, they've not even gone for the throwing of the javis. They've gone for the charge instead. That's fine. We will come out. I don't want to deal with that infantry just yet. I know they're not hugely strong. But I don't want to deal with the infantry. The ram actually got destroyed right in front of the gate somehow. Um, so, yeah. We're also going to wait for them to come off the siege tower here. So we can get a volley off with our boys so let's get around the general is there now he's still alive <laughs> which is kind of annoying but that's fine uh, we didn't lose many men in that charge and they did so let's go for a bit of another glory charge if we can let's get our men around this way they're going for the ladders over there with some theroperoite again it's pretty much going to be one of those where we wait for the fighting on the wall to finish and you can see what damage that those javis do when uh there we go there we go now we should be able to get rid of these guys bang straight in there they're still eager concerned about fighting cavalry so we'll get out actually we'll go into the greek slingers if we can and they should route pretty quickly especially us charging them in the back broken straight away let's go back into these guys they might be a bit scared by other people routing as well these guys are not too bad, so do remember that. They're quite a decent unit. And you can see the morale is actually very good because we've just shredded a lot of their men there uh, with the cavalry. We've actually lost a lot of cavalry men to the javelin, so we're going to get away from them for a bit and try and calm down because I'm just going a bit mental here. I don't need to take these unnecessary risks. Uh, but you can see this unit has got up the walls. Uh, we are fighting the Syracuse and Hoplites, but they are shaken on this side. These guys have fired all their jabbies now, so let's charge into the enemy. And who do they have left then? 
And we still got our, all our Triarii. And these two guys actually are in here still now as well. So we're going to get our generals to rest a bit. Hopefully not die. And the Sisel Peltafori will go up the walls. And I will see you in a bit, guys. So once again, it looks like the AI is going to be cooked by the fact that they don't think to come off the walls at any point until they've killed everyone on the walls. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what's going on with them over there. Uh, but yeah, they, they love they love just staying on the walls. But we can you can see we've retreated to the town square again with our men ready to charge. So we've got the same tactic as we've had in a couple of the battles so far. What I'm thinking of doing is potentially actually getting this tower back. The problem is that four might actually get shot by those Greek slingers. So I don't want that to happen. I was hoping I could kind of sneak these guys through. So once, like, keep them over here. And once they've come down off the walls, retake them so they get shot in the back. But we shall see. I'll see you in a sec. It's amazing that this keeps happening. Like, I'm not planning this. I didn't want this to happen. I wanted to fight them. But honestly, I've been thinking about this. Some of these battles would be easier on the field like it might even be worth you know coming out of the city in something like this because if we've got a big cavalry advantage which we do we can actually use the cavalry whereas previously you know we couldn't uh well in this battle we can't because they're all on the walls fighting so and again the ai has just been dumb and just stayed on the walls again they're gonna come off the walls now but there's only four minutes left what are they gonna do the problem being, Syracuse is definitely going to uh, attack again because they've got a pretty fat army very, very close by as well. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but that's fine. At least we've beat these guys back. Here we are, and we did inflict a lot more casualties than them. The Principes, 157. Fair play. Only six of them left, though. This is slowly becoming a losing battle. So, I would say... If we can, we will retreat from here. But I doubt it. I think Syracuse will attack. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, and Syracuse has come back. And of course, this time, there is absolutely no way that we are destroying that army. So in terms of the tactics of what we can do here now is we're probably going to, you know, make this city not good for them. We're going to make it terrible for them. So, you know... What we're going to do, we're going to destroy everything in the in this city. Get rid of everything that we can. No point keeping it, guys. They're just going to take it and make money off it or be able to recruit from it. So, nope. We can't destroy the roads. We can't destroy the wall. It would be quite nice to destroy the wall. It's on very high tax rate already. Unfortunately, this army is, you know, dead now. Pretty much dead. What we're also going to do, we are going to retreat from Regium, unless Regium is a decent recruitment hub. No, it's not. I'm going to have a look around this region for the best recruitment hub we have to offer. Potentially Croton, honestly. Uh, although Guru Mentum is good, but we have a port building in there. I mean, Regium is good. It's just if they come and siege it down, we can't recruit anything. So what we're going to do, we're going to muster our forces at Grumentum. And it already has a recruitment uh, hub in there. So that's good. Although this one, I mean, that's fine. Next turn, we will then upgrade to the Legion Barracks to actually get some good troops in here. Because all we can get is the Lucanian Infantry, which are not great. But for now, what we will do is we will recruit one of those units uh, for now. And is there anywhere else, like, around this region that might be good as a recruitment hub that's quite close by? Capua looks good as well. Uh, but again, we can only recruit the Lucanian infantry. So we are going to need a general in here as well. Uh, so we will find a general from nearby, and we will take them out of one of the cities. Uh, Grumentum actually is garrisoned by Lucanian infantry, which is not great for me. Tarentum's a bit unhappy, but that's fine. Let's go for that. So we've got a general around here somewhere. I believe we got a general in here, didn't we? Oh, my days. He looks extremely scared by something. And if we have a look at his traits, he's got a load of good command traits, actually. Fantastic. Got a trade trait as well. Hasty, which isn't too bad. 
There's nothing really here that affects morale. So that's good. Kind of either way. So let's leave his Stonium alone. Uh, and let's get him at Groomentum. And we're going to train up an army at Groomentum. Uh, I know that sounds kind of crazy to a lot of Total War players. But this mod, you've got to play it tactically, guys. If it takes you losing a couple of settlements here or there, then that's fine. The AI is generally quite slow at taking settlements. So you do have time to build up your forces, build up your nation. So don't worry about it too much if you have to uh, retreat for a little bit and then come back. Because there's no way we're going to beat that Syracusan army uh, based on the current state of affairs, is there? So there's no point, you know, trying to fight it. And we're not going to give them anything by destroying all those buildings, which is great. Um, so we've got some farming that's come in and built. So, yeah, like I say, that's the best thing that we can do. Let's get these guys up here. Um, we've got you guys all around this region. You've actually got some nice command. Uh, equestrian plus two morale. Oh, that's for being in friendly territory. Uh, you've only got three command but no morale traits. Well, that's fine. Did we have people come of age? Or is this... No, these are the generals that we, uh, we have at our disposal. And I'm potentially thinking about sending one of these guys down south, but he's got the, the minus one morale like we talked about before. So yeah, we're going to have a nice army in the north, and then we will have a nice army in the south as well. We've got the economy now to start recruiting troops as well, guys. So uh, we are, because we've spent that time on the economy and the money on the economy, we will have enough troops uh, to see us through as well. Like I say, just don't worry about taking a backward step at any point because you have time the ai is not extremely fast at sieging down settlements so don't worry about it too much so on to the next turn let's press the end turn and what i'll probably do is build up a little bit and then we'll probably call the video there guys and i'll say because this campaign it didn't need a huge amount of saving ragnar's done a good job so far um i would just say early game just be a little bit more aggressive than what you've already been Obviously playing on very hard, Syracuse very hard to beat. What I'm saying more aggressive is taking those rebel settlements that we could have taken earlier. Uh, so be more aggressive with the assault on the rebel settlements. Uh, but in terms of everything else, it's done a really good job. And yeah, the economy wise looks really nice. So that army is going to come up there now. That's 10 units. And then in Sarissa, we've got five. So that's a 15 stack. Which, for the Romans, is really nice. You're going to be able to take out the boy eye over here pretty quickly, honestly, with a 15 stack. So, yeah, that's what I'd do next if I was you. Uh, but, yeah, let's uh, get that. Of course, I didn't build last turn. That was stupid. I was too busy waffling on, wasn't I? Uh, so, yeah. Right. Got everyone moving around here. We'll let them all move uh, independently as well. Now that this is built, uh, it's built the farming or whatever it was building here. Let's build the next level of barracks. It only takes four turns to recruit that, guys. So uh, that's really good. That's really nice and quick. Let's get you guys into there as well. Uh, you guys keep coming. So this is going to be a pretty nice army as well. Um, and then, like I say, Capua might be the second option. So let's go for... I'm thinking an archery range. What archers do we have available to us early game? We don't. We just have Velites. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Velites are not great. <laughs> uh, yeah, Velites are not what we what we really want. So, could go for the stables so that we can actually recruit some Equites. So, yeah, let's go for the stables at Capua. It makes sense. It's further away, so they'll have further to walk. Uh, as well. Is there anywhere around here that we can get the old blacksmith? That'd be great as well. So that we can, uh, you know, somewhere close by that we can train the troops up with the weapons. So let's go for Pistum. Let's get that in there at Pistum. So we can take the army to Pistum, retrain them. We can get the equites from there as well. Good. Now in terms of the rest of our economy, let's do one more big building round for us. I'm going to focus on rome first if we go for the army barracks that will allow rome to then recruit triarii 
And I think at this point, it's a good investment. So let's go for that. Now, we've got to make sure then, because we've gone for that, that the rest of our buildings are targeted towards economy and public order growth. One big building on that. Let's have a look at what the port does for Aretium. Only 100. Probably not worth it. I mean, the trade is not that great either. So let's go... I think we'll go for the port because over time, I know it costs a lot for, you know, 100 gold. Over time, it's going to make so much more money. So it's a long-term investment over there. But instead of that, in everywhere else, we're going to build some farms, making some nice cash uh, in some of these places. Uh, Cena Gallica. Let's have a look. What does that do? Yes, those first level farms, guys, are so, so strong. So let's have a look. Anywhere else not got first level farms because they are so strong. Uh, no, that's a communal farming. So, yeah, let's have a look. Sarisa, no. Sarsina, sorry. Let's not repair that yet. We don't really need to. Yeah, it doesn't look like anywhere else. It looks like you've done a really good job, Ragnar, of building those first level farms everywhere, which is great. They really boost your economy up. So let's build another one there. Uh, ah, here we are. Another land clearance in there. Yeah. For the cost of them, they are very good. Very good. So I think at this point, we're pretty stable. I know we're going to get beaten back by Syracuse. But like I say, the AI is going to be slow. So you don't... And they have nothing in here now. Literally nothing. Like, uh, what I would do if I was you is when this battle comes around, just try and do as much damage as possible. Or if you want to scumbag it like I did in the first battle that we showed, then you can do that as well and scumbag it and you'll probably win. But you'll just get the re re um, you know, revolving door of them attacking Masana forever. So yeah, up to you whether you want to do that. You can also potentially block the strait here with that ship so that they can't actually get across the strait because our ship's in the way. So we can stop them from getting across another bit of a scumbag move. <laughs> but, you know, if they don't have ships to uh, to fight us, then what are they going to do? What are they going to do? If they think they're hard enough, let them come and have a go. huh? That's what we like to say. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're pretty stable. Nice bit of economy management. We beat the initial army, but yeah, Syracuse is going to overwhelm us there. But in terms of the rest of what we're doing... I'm very happy with the situation we are in now. Uh, we're making a lot of money, probably about 10,000 a turn with the elite tax buildings because they don't add on there. Um, and this army is going to be very strong, very strong, strong enough to go and start taking out some of the enemy provinces. Uh, and like I say, if I was you, Ragnar, I'd be a bit faster with your sieges. Try and siege them down faster. That's going to blitz, especially a faction. You want to try and blitz the faction. So try and blitz them out of the way. Uh, and that'll make you a lot more money over time. And when you get chance, go and take that, that settlement as well. Just for a nice clean borders. No border gore. Over this side, like I say, get your army together in Grumentum. Uh, build this up so you can actually start building some proper troops like Hastati. Uh, build up a nice bit of an army. Come down, and I'd probably siege down Masana, and I probably would siege it down for quite a while if they had an army like this in there. If they only got one to like five units, siege it down, take it back, and then be aggressive against Syracuse again, because it's a very rich territory over here, very rich. So you should be in uh, for some nice bit of cash. But what you're going to be able to do is, if you get this army together up in the north, you're going to be able to make a lot more cash very quickly, by blitzing the boyai and taking these rebel settlements over here. You can see this one doesn't even have walls, which is very nice. And Patavium is notoriously a good settlement. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks on this video. And uh, I hope you really did enjoy the video. So, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And make sure you submit your Save My Campaigns down below. Right, guys, I will see you on the next video.